We are nearing the end of the Beijing Winter Olympics for 2022. Just a couple days left of competition. It's been exciting. The U.S., as we said before break, standing at uh, fourth in terms of medal count. So that's exciting. Uh, even with that loss last night, which was tough to watch. It was, um, oh. you know, but they came back. And so anytime you come back from like a 3-0, to me, that just shows a resilience. And our own Hillary Knight, you know, she showed by scoring that goal, um, by leading that team, that it's not over till it's over. Yeah, that's so right. So I, I really love the fight. Yeah, it was a good game. Uh, I think a lot of us wondering, you know, as the Olympics wind down, what do athletes do once they're done competing and once the Olympics are over, what happens with their lives? You can obviously share some of that insight. Well, first and foremost, I mean, when you're finished competing at the Olympic Village, you actually are out. So people always have this perception that we get to hang out there and we're there for the opening ceremonies and the closing ceremonies and that, but really let's think about it. People are coming in and they still haven't competed. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine what the Olympic Village would be like if every athlete that's competed and is finished, is just hanging out. Yeah, it would be distracting. <laughs> It'd be very distracting. Yeah. So we have phases, and then within like 24 hours, you're actually going back home, or potentially with your family, you have rented a place to stay and enjoy some events for yourself. Okay. Um, so that's number one. Number two is, as an athlete coming home and yeah. watching the closing ceremonies on TV, mo I mean, you're either gonna come off of of a high or you're gonna come off of a low. Yeah. And there's really not much in between. I mean, sometimes we're satisfied, but as athletes, no, not often. <laughs> <laughs> you're never, not at that level, not at that no. competitive level. And so I think that really, um, we're so goal oriented mm -hmm. that what's missing is what's next. Mm. Uh, people who succeed, we forget to celebrate our successes and we're on to the next thing. So we have this vision of like, we're gonna celebrate mm -hmm. with our friends and really we're just back home, back to work, thinking about our next goal. And then obviously if, if you don't perform like you want, yeah. it's, it's very difficult to come out of that and to reestablish those new goals. You know, why was I doing this for the last 15 mm -hmm. years? What am I doing with my life? We all go through that, that's yeah. human nature. I, I think of <laughs> Michaela Schifrin as you talk about that. Obviously the outcome of this Olympics was not what she anticipated, but these are people who are very, very famous on an international stage for two weeks out of the year and maybe a little bit of time leading up to it as well. But when they come home, I mean, are you doing, si if you're a winner, right, are you doing signing deals, are you doing commercials? I mean, is it still really busy? Yeah, absolutely. So pretty much when it comes to endorsements, they always say that you're, if you do well, you have about 18 months because then those companies are actually moving on to the winter games. Okay. And so if you think about it, um, those endorsements are a very, small window mm -hmm. um, but yeah there is a lot of activity and it doesn't it doesn't stop and again it depends on where you're from mm -hmm. so being from Boise Idaho in Idaho I got all the love yes. you can imagine but if I were um, going back to let's say a town like San Francisco though they love you yeah you're up against you know NFL big ball sports um, you're also up against other Olympian, mm. so many swimmers from Stanford. You're almost a number when it comes to an Olympian. But here in Idaho, I just felt like it was a big party for everyone. <laughs> well, because you said, Kristen told me earlier, she was the only Olympian from Idaho in the Summer Games to ever win a gold medal. Mm -hmm. And that's huge. I mean, that's why we call her Idaho's Golden Girl. And I didn't even give you an introduction in the beginning. I'm sorry. I think everyone who's been watching. Oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, you know, three time Olympic gold medal. Yeah, she doesn't need one. Olympic gold medalist Kristen Armstrong joining us for two more days. Here at KTVB? Yes, yes. All right, two more newscasts. Thanks for joining us, uh, Kristen. We love having you. And of course, if you guys want to stay up to date on all of the latest Olympic events, uh, any of the medal counts, et cetera, you can go to our website, ktvb.com. You can also text us. I don't know if we have a full screen. The number is 208-321-5614. We'll shoot you a guide. There we go. Directly, uh, we'll shoot you a link directly to our Olympics guide. We'll be right back.